Okay, so this is part two of how I put the pages on the inside of my mini albums. If you haven't already, I do have a video out of part one where I show how I put the album together, um, showing the chipboard and covering it with the paper. Um, and all of the dimensions for this part of the album are down below in the comments. Um, so now we are ready to construct the inside of it. Uh, I did go ahead and add my ribbon here on the side, if you can see there with the tape, and then the same here on the front. I normally like to use magnets on my albums, but this particular one has so many different elements to it that I felt that magnets wouldn't really hold it super well on the inside, and so I went ahead and opted to use the ribbon. Uh, what I've also done in advance, just to not make the video too long, is I went ahead and put all of the different elements, my papers on, the um, different elements I'm gonna be using ahead of time, just to kind of speed things up just a little bit. Again, down below, I'll have the dimensions of the cardstock uh, that I cut them at and for the pattern paper. And so then I went ahead and just made myself little notes on um, which section that I would be using it and, and just kind of make things easy. All right, so now we're ready to put our album together. So the first pages I'm going to grab are my waterfall pages. I have my base page there in the back and each of my four cards that will make up the waterfall. I have scored a half inch up at the top of each of them and here I'm adding the score tape to the top as well. The paper that I'm using for this book is the Life's a Hoot paper pack from close to my heart. It's in the current uh, April through June 2023 catalog. So now I'm gonna grab my base page and uh, line up the very first flap to the top of the base page. Uh, I went off camera here a little bit, um, but you wanna make sure that it's lined up as straight as possible because um, you're going to line up all of your other pages up against where that first fold comes down. Um, so it's important that your first page is lined up really well so that all of your uh, additional pages you're adding are straight. So here you can see that I have folded back on the score line and I'm just butting that right up to the line of that first card that I put on there. And now I have that finished and just checking to make sure all this, the pages are straight and that it opens properly. I'm going to go ahead and add my score tape to the back of it. Um, now, sometimes I will wrap a ribbon all the way around as a tie closure to hold the waterfall down or have a little extra flap of paper that comes up and attaches with a magnet to hold the flaps down. I didn't on this one. Um, I might do something different with it. I haven't really decided yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my score tape down and go ahead and get it set right into the middle of my book.
All right, so on the next part here, I'm going to be putting a booklet on each side of the album that mirrors each other with the same colored cardstock and paper. And I've already added my magnet here uh, for my snap closure so that it is ready to go and put together. So I'm grabbing my top card and again it's scored at half an inch and I will be adding score tape on both the front and the back side of this card. And I just want to very carefully line both of these up together and um, attach it to that piece. Now, when I went to the second side, um, while I was filming this, I did stack the two pieces incorrectly because my magnet was actually underneath the pattern paper that had the stripes on it. And so I had them in the wrong order, which I did. Um, end up taking them apart and redoing it. Um, and then I also realized at some point I had my stripes going the wrong direction. Um, like I said, I wanted to mirror each side of my project to be the same. And I had um, incorrectly placed the paper so that my uh, stripes were wrong. And so I did go back and correct that as well. Now I'm just going to um, put the two uh, sides together um, as you can see in the film and then fold back the uh, score lines on each side and I will uh, you'll see me here take the score piece off each or I'm sorry the score tape off of each side and then very carefully line it up in the book being careful not to cover up any of the hinge pieces um, And I'm just going to repeat the same steps for the opposite side. Um, so again, just adding the score tape to the front and back of my first piece. And then carefully stack the two pieces together. And I'll do the same thing here on this side. You can see I was double checking myself to make sure where that magnet was at because I did place it in advance. I also ran out of my half inch score tape. So I grabbed my quarter inch score tape and I'm just having to double up on it.
And so now I'm just going to make sure that the papers are um, stacked the way that I want them. And then I fold back the score lines on each side, like I did on the other, and then very carefully place it into the book. Um, careful not to get that binding of the book. And now I'm just grabbing the piece of cardstock that I'm going to be using to cover up the back. And when you're placing this piece, again, you want to make sure that you're not resting right on top of the fold lines of uh, your fold outs because it will um, prevent your pages from uh, closing correctly. Now I'm going to be adding the uh, bottom pocket. And I, again, I have the cardstock uh, scored at half an inch on three sides and I'm just adding my score tape. And I got off a little I got off camera a bit there, but I am mitering the corners to take away any of that bulk and to make um, crisp, clean corners for my pocket. And again, when you are uh, putting this down, you wanna make sure that all of your pages will close correctly and that nothing is in its way. And now I'm grabbing the top piece of my flap and uh, again, just adding my score tape to the uh, top of the piece. It's off camera a little bit, sorry about that. Again, it's scored a half inch from the top and then I'm just adding that score tape to it and then I'll fold it to the back and then wanna make sure that I have it lined up with my pocket there. And again, make sure that your pages can close cleanly around it.
All right, so now I'm just preparing a pocket that I'm going to be adding on to each side. Uh, this pocket is an SVG file that I purchased. Um, it also has a little uh, tag that is the perfect size to go on to the inside of it. So I wanted my pocket to be as even on the bottom as possible. So I went ahead and grabbed my ruler and just kind of measured it out um, with the bottom to make sure that I had it super straight. And now I'm just grabbing the uh, pieces that I made for that front flap. Uh, this is going to be a very simple tri-fold card on the front for photos.
So I added my front, back, and side pieces off camera, uh, mainly just because I needed to look at it super close to be able to line it up correctly. Um, and my head was getting into the way of my camera. Um, and so, yeah, I uh, took the paper and um, matted it on some gold cardstock. Um, same with that inner piece. Um, just attached it to the front, back, and to the two sides. And then you see how it opens up. I have my waterfall here in the middle. Again, I'm still um, deciding how, if any, closure is going to be necessary for uh, that front piece. Um, then on the side, I have my fold out. and the inside pocket. So once again, the paper that I used for this mini album is called Life's a Hoot by Close to My Heart. I'll have a link down for my website down below. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will follow this video up with a part three on how I decorated it um, with my photos. Uh, this is gonna become a Mother's Day present for my daughter. Um, I have a lot of pictures of her and her daughter together that are super cute. So I'll be um, putting those in this album for a Mother's Day present for her. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I do read the comments, so please leave a comment down below. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.